Alright guys, welcome back to Hero Villain Mashup, where I take a hero from one franchise and put him against a villain or villains from another franchise. And you can, t and you can see right here, yeah, the Ninja Turtles and from, of course, TMNT, and Chase Young from Shaolin Showdown. Yeah. Now let's be honest here, Chase would totally be awesome as a Ninja Turtles villain. He would totally rock it as a Ninja Turtles villain. I mean, ma master martial artist... Um, you know, ancient mysticism to him. He's also got a monster form. Yeah, he just screams, uh, Ninja Tur you know, he just screams Ninja Turtles villain. Um, Chase is just all of that. <laughs> um, that, you know, he's on every level of what the Ninja Turtles usually face. You know, guy who knows martial arts, like the Shredder. Guy who can turn into a monster, like half their other rogues gallery. Um, guy who is steeped in mysticism. Much like some of their other rogues gallery. Uh, yeah, and j just, yeah, he's just a perfect candidate for a, TM for a TMNT villain. Now, Chase um, is interesting in that you're probably wondering, well, yeah, Chase would probably get overwhelmed because there's it's a four, it would be four on one. Well, that's where, you, that's where I would make the argument of not necessarily. Remember, one, you know, Chase's big uh, thing, well, actually, I should say, excuse me, his, one of his major opponents are the are the Xiaolin monks, who are four young uh, martial artists. And they usually try to gang up on Chase most of the time, and he can take them on without breaking a sweat. So imagine what would it be like if he fought the turtles. You know, the turtles would kind of be the same way, in that, you know, they would all attack him at once, and Chase would just brush them off no, uh, um, no, uh, no problem. He would easily just brush them, like easily manage to take them on. Remember, he, Chase is has had over 800 years to practice a vast amount of martial arts skills that I'm pretty even sure Splinter and Shredder wouldn't even be aware of. Like he would, uh, you know, Chase has probably learned some forgotten martial arts tactics. They even like uh, like the likes of Splinter and Shredder have forgotten or never heard of. So he would definitely. Um, just get the drop on the turtles all at once, even if they did fight as a team. Now, the other thing Chase is really good at is playing head games. You know, Chase is excellent at playing head games. He could easily get in the turtles' heads. Like, if he, like, um, got into Raphael's head, he could easily just get him off balance. Because remember, Raph's got a bit of an attitude problem. So if he gets in Raph's head enough, he could easily make him lose focus, and then he could get in the the uh, a killing shot, even. Leo, he could easily just taunt him as like, oh, you know, you're not a great leader, you know, you're going to get your brothers killed, and yeah, something like that in that degree. So he could easily get in the likes of Leo and um, Raph's head, or even Donnie and Mikey's heads. Um, even when they're fighting, like all of them at once are fighting him, and he could easily just sing systematically, mentally wear these, mentally and physically wear the turtles down. But however, I'm not counting the turtles totally out it, um, as, you know, I'm just, I know I'm saying like Chase could easily take them down. But remember, the Shaolin monks don't really kill. The Shaolin monks don't necessarily kill their opponents. The difference is, is that the turtles will. The turtles will totally kill someone. They will totally kill someone. Um, if given the chance. So, there can be a moment where they're fighting and Leo gets a lucky strike in on Chase and he's like, he gets cut and he's like, oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. So that's the thing is that the turtles, go, you know, don't hold back. Um, the turtles will kill if need be, but remember, Chase is immortal, so they can't really kill him, even if they could. I mean, they could wound, you know, they could definitely, like, stab him and wound, like, I can imagine he could be hurt, but they couldn't kill him, um, due to his immortality. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the thing, is that the turtles aren't, you know, aren't like the monks. The turtles will actually fight back and fight to, you know, they fight, um, without holding back. Same with Chase, but Chase has got a few things up his sleeve. Remember, he's a monster, both figuratively and literally. He's got that dra humanoid dragon form. Remember that. That, you know, good luck of the turtles trying to fight that. You know, that's all I'm going to say on that is that, you know, good luck on the turtles trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of uh, Chase in his dragon form. 
Um, I mean, yeah, they could take on Super, Super Shredder, um, but even then, they, you know, they they nearly lost that. You know, they got lucky in that regard. But Chase in his dragon form? Yeah, that dude doesn't have any weaknesses. Even if they went, you know, even if the turtles went all out and actually managed to, like, stab him a few times, Chase could still keep coming at him. He's got regenerative abilities, as well as, like I said, his immortality. And let's not forget that even though Chase would probably take on the turtles all by himself, let's not forget that he does have legions of warriors of his own. Remember, all of those cats that live in his palace are all of the greatest warriors throughout history that have come to serve uh, Chase. Um, that's the thing, is that Chase has a army of his own, so he could easily just, like, in the middle of a fight in, let's say, New York, Chase is just, uh, like, fighting the turtles, and he's like, you know, maybe you should, like, Mikey's, like, mocking him, like, yeah, dude, you should have brought, like, backup. He's like, oh, that's the thing I did. And they all look up and see all, like, these lions and tigers and, like, other big cats all around them, and they're like, what the hell is this? Like, you just got, you're a real cat person? Something like that. And they all turn into their, like, uh, warrior forms. And, yeah. And remember, all of those warriors that, all those cats were all of the best warriors that Chase had met throughout history. So they're all excellent fighters. Um, they're all ex excellent fighters in their own right. So uh, they just pledge eternal loyalty to, you know, Chase. And, yeah. Let's also keep in mind that all those cat warriors are mystically empowered. So that's the other thing, is that they're all mystically, you know, they're all mystically empowered, they're all, um, they all have amplified strength, speed, and agility as well. So if Chase, you know, Chase is not without his own, you know, per, you know, personal group, but like I said, Chase, you, Chase Young usually fights on his own, but if need be, he could easily just snap his fingers and his cat warriors are, boom, right there. Um... So yeah, that's the thing. Also, I don't think uh, Chase would not be, you know, I think Chase would easily, you know, even take it to Shredder or, or well, excuse me, Splinter. <laughs> Why did I say Shredder? He could easily take it to Splinter. Um, he could come after Capri April and Casey, and depending on which versions they are, for reference, um, and I should have mentioned this earlier, is that I'm just kind of thinking of the 2012 cartoon. You know, come after Karai, come after... Um, come after April, who, yeah, they can easily fight on their own, but like I said, I don't think anyone's on Chase's level in, in the TMNT universe. Not even Splinter, I'm afraid. And I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, as a naysayer, but on it, like I said, the dude's had nearly a thousand years of training, um, and not even the best uh, martial artists can fight him and stand up to him. There's only a, a, a small number of warriors who can actually face Chase and yeah, like I said, he could not only attack someone physically, but also mentally. He could easily mentally trip up um, the turtles, um, as well as he could easily, you know, beat the shit out of them. I could even see, like, him go, you know, tempting, like, uh, Leo or Raph into trying to join his side. And that probably wouldn't go well, but still, like, he, you know, Chase has got quite the silver tongue on him, so I could definitely see him tempting one of the turtles, um to joining his, uh, joining his cause, uh, most definitely. So Chase Young would be just a terrifying opponent for, um, the Ninja Turtles. Like I said, I think he'd be, uh, he would, he just screams TMNT villain. Um, absolutely. So, yeah. Um, again, like, I think he just makes the perfect Ninja Turtles villain, just, he's got the, you know, the strength, the speed, he's got the intellect, he's got that just conniving uh, personality to him. He's just lethal. I'd say even more, possibly more lethal than, you know, the Shredder, and that's a scary thought. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of the idea of um, Chase Young being a Ninja Turtle, you know, what if the Ninja Turtles had to face Chase Young? Um, yeah, just comment below. How do you think that would go? Um, what do you think it would be like with Chase as a villain of the Ninja Turtles? Do you think he could actually tempt one of the Turtles into joining his ranks? Um, do you see him, you know, even, like, killing people on the TMNT side? Really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. So, uh, yeah, just comment below, let me know. And, uh, yeah, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.